Well, the Pennsylvania Society is actually a nonprofit organization that every year has a big annual dinner that awards a, honors a person. Uh, but this tradition goes back more than 100 years when a lot of industrialists in New York owned, had financial interests in Pennsylvania, and once a year they would bring the Pennsylvania legislators in and give them um, booze and fun and give them their marching orders for the legislature. So it was a weekend of parties, receptions, and cohorting uh, that has grown over time to be this gathering weekend for politicians and hangers-on. So you will find politicians running for office who have fundraisers, others who have receptions, um, lobbyists and financial interests like banks will have a big party or reception or a union. And so it offers those who are interested in meeting the political class an opportunity to go from one party to the next for days on end, uh, talk yourself horse and have as much to drink as you want to. That's not, of course, what journalists do, but that's what the others do. How many years have you been coming, Dave? Probably about 15 years. And Mary, how many times did you get to cover the PA Society? Oh, I got to cover. I was <laughs> I was granted the privilege of covering, I think, twice I came up. If you work in the Capitol, it's kind of like you feel like the Capitol is just transplanted to Central Park East. Um, so, you you know, you figure it's, it's kind of like bobbing for apples. The quotes are, you know, a dime a dozen. There's tons of quotes to be gotten. Um, but it's really, really helpful for reporters who cover state politics but aren't in the capital, like Dave, because all the all the players are in the same place. 